Okay, hole number 15 here. 15. And it's about, or it's about, it is 365, but it's 285 to go through the fairway. But it sounds like the fairway light. It splits. Split. So you can you have two options. You can go up the right or the left once we go down there. Perfect. Easy stuff. Focus. There it is. Yeah, middle of the fairway. Didn't like really try and whack that. I didn't want it running. I was a little worried that it could kick down there. So that should, well should be right 24. in play. Yeah, hopefully it leaves a wedge or a nine. And that's happy days. Hey, that's a nice Pinehurst hat. <laughs> that's not even on the side with the Pinehurst. <laughs> wow, this is what I have to put up with all day. All week, geez, this road trip has been intense. So much good golf. So many fun times. It's a driver. I think you can aim right over the middle of this bunker. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Good shot. Clear that bunker and it's perfect. Jadez? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very good. A1, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Steve's heading to a totally blind pin. This hole's really interesting. It's huge, massive green. It was tucked right behind this. There. So we've got Megan over here. It's completely blind. It's a nice strike. She said it's really good. It's, I think, on the green on the left hand side. So we may have to wait to get up there. Yep, there we can see it. Oh, and there I am as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So, we both get ticks. Got good birdie chances. But look at this structure of I'm this green. Yeah. It's literally you could when you talk about greens not having enough pins, this one doesn't have different pins. It has a, about four or five different holes. As soon as you put it over there, it's a completely different hole. In this corner, and I mentioned it on the par 5, as it's tucked away, you couldn't even see the pin. But we trusted it, trusted our yardage, and let's see if we can capitalise. Got to be breaking off of Megan's left. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look great, but it's given and it's not actually that bad a putt. You try and roll it at that hole, you could easily roll it six by. Yeah. Just nothing, nothing that drives me crazier than not giving it a chance to go in, you know? No. Missing it that low. But Steve, it's your time to shine here. But it's, Har it's Harvey Penick, isn't it? When people said never up, never in. Because <laughs> you know, 100% of short putts Miss. Yeah, that's right. No, but Harvey Panic replies, but how many go in that miss on the left and right as a percentage? <laughs> good old Harvey Panic. All sorts of good ones. Have you read that little red book? Yeah, it's awesome. Where we can... I do high-end biomechanics, but I learn just as much from that, you know, the art of coaching. So Steve looks like he's, after putting. he's playing this with the right amount of break. But the question is, will he hit it hard enough to get there? He's getting a little Just lots little of break and I can't make myself hit it. Alright, so Perfect reads. two pars. Perfect reads. And you'll notice I'm 
I'm holding the par putts because I feel like I need to run at it. You know, the last hole, I felt like I needed to hold it because I thought you would hold yours. Yeah. So, you know, so it was a completely different role. Getting there, though, the putting is so much better. I think everything's been better. You can definitely tell a difference when you, you're playing and practicing a lot. Yeah. All right. Hole number 16. Hole number 16. And there's a post in the distance which I'm aiming at. It's about 250 to go too far, so I've just got my 24. going to see that land but it should be leaving me not too far in yeah i thought you had a great target and yeah and it, it it's there. why it's why it's really helpful to have a yardage book because the holes it looks like it's going to try and make you hit more to the left yeah and you definitely need one out here for sure yeah, okay. it's been helpful at every course though yeah. we've had a yardage go but you'll gain a little bit by hitting it down the left but there's not really any point if you're going to be risky with your layup you're just about to hit driver at the green yeah which I don't think is very wise. So it makes the fairways 149 to drive through and it's 200. So I think I see there's like waste area. Yeah, so that's that's through the fairway. Okay, I'm just going to use that as my one. That's I would use one. the pole. Use the pole? Yeah. Gives, gives you scope. Just yeah. a nice positive swing at that pole. This one here I'm talking about. Here, it's here or there, a bit further to the right. No, no, no. Hook, 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 hook. Hook, hook, hook. Oh, Maggie. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a drop, I think. Yeah. Got to commit to those ones. It's hard when you haven't played here, though, and you, you don't know where you're going. Oh, no. Megan has found it. I think she needs to just take her medicine and hack it back out. This is a really hard shot. That's actually well played. So at least, yeah, at least you're there in two. See what you can do from there. Yeah, very good shot. So Megan, uphill line. I'm standing to give her a bit of alignment. Okay. I will move. <laughs> so it's 86 yards straight up the hill. So I reckon it's playing 100, but there is a backstop. Um, it kicked forwards, but I think it is short. Okay, so Steve only has, you know, small wedge, 70 or 80 yards here. But you got to get it onto the screen. You don't want it to spin back at all like that. Because he's going to end all the way down by me. Hit a great shot, and now he's stuck down there. <sighs> we both have an incredibly hard pitch. I actually turned away thinking that was mission accomplished. Picked up my other club and then saw it working its way back down and Megan's still filming. So it's, 40, wow. it's 47, I think, from here. Wow. This put Well, we're playing double bogey maxes, so God. what are you? Not my hole. Probably that. Let's see. You go. One, two, three. I just hit my. I was genuinely happy with <laughs> I'm having trouble match. counting here, guys. All right, Steve has a, Steve has a there's bad a line. On the right, is that correct? Yeah, there, there is a backstop up there. Oh, I like 
like it. I like it. Oh, wow, just up there. Nice. Very disappointing, I know, with that one shot, but. You can have one more go? I'll go. I think this is my fifth. Having trouble counting, but. Hey, it could go in. <laughs> Let's hope that's a big backstop. Was a challenge. Well, this is for bogey, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Shoot. There you go. All right, up one. <laughs> or well, now up two, right? Yeah. Okay. That'd be crazy. You know, I tried to do the right thing. I think it was the golf gods helping me out a little bit. Yeah. Almost, almost needed to land it back there. Well, because yours did land whole high. I left it. I it zipped by. Zipped all the way back. Backspin though, isn't it? Backspin's always good.